You ready? Lights, camera, action. You still want to do the hard part and everything? Uh, not a hard part. Just, just a natural? Natural part, yeah. Okay. Kind of lays that way. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't get in here every week for a hard part. Yeah. If not, it grows too fast and it starts looking really shabby. Yeah. So here I'm just making sure his natural part is cleaned up. Looks good. And then we're gonna start with our first guard, which is the one and a half metal guard. I like to use this to debulk a lot of this length here. You now when you go in here, you don't wanna dig in. You kinda wanna come up and out, especially with this hairstyle. And always look at your client's shape of the head because you don't want to go straight across. So you kind of want to just clean them up, get all this deep bulk, all this bulk away so you can see what you're working with. And at the very end here, when, you know, kind of flick out and that'll soften that line for you. So you said you know some people in Russia, John? In my no, not Russia. No. Oh, and uh, Ukraine. 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 Yeah, my cousins are hunted down in their basement in Kentucky. She's worried that they're going to attack the chemical plant with she was she's a chemist. Oh. And she said if it does, it'll be like a mini Chernobyl. And with a radius of about 200. 200 kilometers of destruction so that they do anything to the plant. Yeah. Except to who she said. I believe it. Mm. All right, so now that we debulked, cleaned everything up, we are going to fix his beard and everything, but we'll save that. Now we're just going to put in our first guideline. He likes his bald fade. So here I'm going to use just my regular clippers with my lever closed. And if you're kind of new to doing bald fades, my recommendation would be to start this line as low as possible. Like you could even go lower, just so it gives you more room to fade. And again, I'm gonna go to the shape of his head, kind of drop it in the back a little bit. All right, now we got that first guy line in. Now we're gonna set our second guy line in. Take the same clippers, but now we're gonna do lever all the way open. And while we're here too, I'm gonna go ahead and put my first guy line in with the beard. How's school going, John? Oh, good. The energy vampires are fine. <laughs> They're doing really well though. There's a lot of girls in the reading. I'm just congratulating them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I typically like to do is once I put my second guideline in, I'll just go ahead and clear that first guideline out as I'm going, just so I don't have to go back to it. Saves you a little time in the haircut. So here you kind of want to play with the lever. Just kind of tap it with the corners, get it cleaned up. Good thing about when you have a client with um, 
how do I say it politely, gray hair? That's what it is. <laughs> Las canas no vienen de ganas is what we say in Spanish. Yeah. Gray hairs don't come from wishes. No, it's wisdom. <laughs> yeah. But it's a little easier to blend, especially, you know, that first bald look. And I'll just work my way all the way around the head. Go back, knock this line out. And because we started with a one and a half, you know, up here, basically you only have to use, you know, two guards technically, and the fade's done, and you just, you know, have to blend the top to the bottom. Again, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go ahead and set our first guy line in to the beard. Blend that in nice. And then second guideline up here. Here I'm just using my corners, just barely getting in there. Just If you use your corners instead of the whole blade while you're trying to get a guideline out, you're not committing all the way. So if you do actually make a mistake, it's easy to kind of fix it. Take our one guard here, lever open again, not close, open. Set our second guide line into the beard. But when I'm doing the beard, I'm not laying the clippers just flat. I'm kind of angled in and then flat. And close it, and it's just blending nice. Lever open, sit. This should just blend right into that initial one and a half we used to deepen. Then go back, close it, and now we're gonna soften this second guide line out. It won't totally get rid of it, it's just softening it. And we'll go ahead and do that around. Same thing on this side. Go ahead and use your one and a half while you got it on for the beer. Then finish the top. All right, now the second guideline soft, and we're gonna take our wall. This is a half guard here. Now we're gonna have our lever about halfway open, and we're gonna use our corners and just tap that line out. You might, in some cases, find areas where you're gonna have to play with the lever to get the line all the way out. You might have to close it all the way or open it. And while I'm on the side ahead, I'm just gonna detail it, take my guard off, open the lever all the way, and just use my corners to see any high spots I see.
All right, now that we went around the whole head, we're gonna go back and detail some areas. But the fade on the side's basically done. We're gonna have to do the top. But here, I'll take my one guard and kind of just clean areas I see up. Make sure everything blends right. I typically do instead of going to my shears and getting the top wet right here, I'm just gonna clean up the beard while I still have my clippers in hand. So I'm gonna finish blending it. He's not, we're not taking any length off, we're just blending it and cleaning it up. Again, I'm not laying my clipper flat when I do it, I'm kinda holding it like this, not this. want to clean up all the stragglers. And while I'm on the side, I'm gonna go ahead and do his lines. It's the same process on this side. Just one and a half, blend the rest in. Are you sleeping on me yet, John? Yes. <laughs> Get the top nice and saturated. So typically, when we normally do his hair, you know, we kind of did the, the normal 
you know, come over with the scoop, you know, up like that. But now he kind of wants to have it more down and natural looking, so. We gotta get rid of some of that length. Not quite so <laughs> <laughs> So here I'm gonna start on the part side. I'm gonna take a little bit of that length. Now I wanna have my fingers perfectly vertical and just snip that off. weight to take off. down a little bit for me. All right, chin normal. Now what we want to do is we want to set a guideline in right here first. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just start working their way back, but you want to set it in here. What happens when you just work your way back this way, the back becomes a lot longer than the front because <clears throat> this is the highest point of your head. So you want to start there. And then work your way forward. Once I reach this point, I like to go on this side here, and then we'll do the same as we did on that side. Hold our fingers vertically. And here we're just basically setting in a secondary guideline to beat this guideline and this guideline together.
make sure you use your mirrors, make sure everything looks good. Look down for me a little bit. We're just gonna do the same thing back here as we did on the side here, sheer over comb. Down a little more for me, John. There you go. Good. We're gonna soften because his hair is gray with some dark in it. You know, you might see some areas like right here that might look like a line, but it's really not. It's just the color of his hair transitioning. So here, you kind of have to make the illusion to soften that up. Eventually, the gray is gonna make it through the top of my head. Yeah, eventually. It started at the point of my beard. And then after we're done with this, we want to dry the hair and make sure everything lays how it's supposed to. What kind of product have you been using, John? Uh, uh, what's it, uh, Johnny D. Okay. Uh, Johnny D. Um, Joe. Okay. All right, now that it's dry, let's go ahead and see how everything's laying. Good though. I'm happy with this. All right, do me a favor, John. Look straight and then chin up a little bit. Keep going. Right there. Just want to make sure this line. Definitely make sure you use your mirror when you're doing this. Make sure everything looks even. That looks good. You can relax. Now we're going to line his beard up. 
Most cases when I do a, a shave, I'll use hot lather, but when I'm just lining someone's beard up, I wanna see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna use, it's called phase two, it's a hair and beard conditioner. It'll soften the hair and just makes it glide. It's gonna be cold, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the only downside, it's, it's nice and cold when it hits the face. <laughs> then instead of letting it run down, I, I comb it into the beard. Cause it's, it's really good for the beard. Get this on both sides. Now I have my client chin up a little bit, tilt his chin just like that, perfect. Yeah. And you want to make sure to stretch the skin. Typically, John has his beard really long, but he shaved it off on me. <laughs> look in the mirror, make sure it's all straight and even. Style it real quick and hopefully he likes it. Is that what you're kind of thinking? Just like that? All right. Let me just touch a couple areas up. You happy with that? It's part of the kitchen-ish. Yes, it was. They they definitely closed it after the fact. It's like, oh, God's killing me. 